the world's best open source video generator has just got better. WAN 2.1, now WAN 2.2, bridge with it some awesome improvements, including enhancements to aesthetics, improved motion and action scenes, and a new hybrid 5 billion parameter model that can do both image to video and text to video all in one model, which can apparently run on a 4070, I believe. However, do keep your expectations in check as I have heard the 5 billion parameter model is not that great in terms of performance and results and you might be better using a quantized GGUF version of the 14 billion parameter model rather than working with the 5 billion one. So what's different in this new WAN 2.2 model that brings with it all of these enhancements? Well, the major change is that they've shifted over to a mixture of experts approach in the WAN model, meaning that instead of it being one big model, it's a combination of smaller models that specialize in different casts and you end up with a better overall result. Specifically in WAN, what they've done, they've separated the high noise video generation from the low noise video generation. What does that mean? That means that they have one model that focuses on taking the video from extremely noisy to a relatively noisy video where the model focuses on setting up the environment, the setting, getting the action right, and kind of giving this high level direction for the video to go in. And the low noise model takes that video that has definition in it, but it's still noisy and focuses on bringing out the detail and improving the quality. When you combine both of these, you end up with a significantly better result in terms of your overall action, animation, and flow, while at the same time getting better details and sharpness from your video. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to use the 14 billion parameter version of the model on both Comfy UI, which you can use on the cloud on RunPod or locally on your own machine, as well as a cloud-based service, including my own cloud-based service, which allows you to get videos generated in less than a minute. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So the first option I'm going to show you guys because it's always just the quickest is how to use WAN 2.2 over here on KaijuJet, my image and video generation platform. To do that, once you're logged in or registered, come down over here to the model selector and pick video and scroll down and look for WAN 2.2 where you'll find the 5 billion parameter model along with the setting for image to video and text to video, as well as the 14 billion parameter model where we've got image to video and text to video. You can also find the models by heading over here into models and scrolling down and you'll see them over here. Once you've picked the model that you want, it'll be preset down here. Go ahead and open up the advanced parameters and you can go ahead and set the parameters that you need, including the aspect ratio, the number of frames that you want, the frames per second, a negative prompt where I preset one for you to use, the resolution that you want, and it goes all the way up to 720p, as well as a few additional settings like the safety checker, a prompt enhancer, which will help fix your prompt, the guidance scale, and ship. Now you'll see that there's two guidance scales here. The reason being is this is a separate guidance for the high noise model and for the low noise model. So guidance scale two is for the low noise model, which focuses on the details, and the regular guidance scale is for the high noise model which focuses on the overall image. This will allow you to define the prompt adherence for both of those and decide whether the model gets more or less creativity. Once you've picked your parameters here, you can go ahead and type in your prompt. And if you want to set an image, if you're using the image to video models, just come down here and you can upload the image that you want. You can browse from any previously uploaded images that you might have, or you can find an image that you like, like this one. Click the link over here drop it in and the app will automatically grab that image from wherever it's stored. So it's really easy to turn existing images that you've generated on the platform into video and go ahead and animate them. You can see a couple of examples here generated on KaijuGen. Now, if you prefer to use Comfy UI or you want to get this running locally on your own machine, I have a few options. To run this locally on your machine, I'll show you where you need to download the models into your Comfy UI installation. However, if you're not very comfortable with Comfy UI, I've been working on something that might work for you. This is Comfy UI Browser. It's a simple applet that I put together to help you manage your Comfy UI and make it easier to get up and running and sort out problems relatively easily. If you've never used Comfy UI before, you can just go ahead and open up the browser, click Install Comfy UI, pick wherever you want to install it, and it will download and install Comfy UI. Now, if you've watched my videos before, you'll know that if you're working locally on your computer, I advocate for creating virtual environments. Well, I've made that even easier here. Once you've downloaded Comfy UI or you've 
told the browser where your installation is, you can not only create virtual environments from here with different names, but you can also view them over here. So if you've got different virtual environments with different dependencies installed and you don't want them to conflict, let's say you've got one for video, one for images and so on, you can just have them here and turn them on as needed. I've also made it really easy to get up and running with workflows. Eventually, you'll be able to view all of the workflows that I've previously shared here and you'll not only be able to download them, but also automatically install any nodes or dependencies associated with that workflow. Likewise, I've also got a couple of the custom nodes that I regularly use here for easy installation. And you probably have a lot of these installed, but it's always useful if you want to do a fresh installation and you just want to get a couple of nodes up and running quickly. And of course, a model downloader here as well. As not all the models are always available on Comfy UI. So as you can see here, I've pre-set up the WAN 2.2 model. So depending on the one that you want, whether it's the low noise, high noise, FP16, FP8 versions, or the 5 billion version, it will go ahead and download that model as well as the associated dependent model. So whether you're using the WAN 2.2 Bay, the associated text encoders, and so on. I also put here a downloader where you can drop in the hugging face link of the model you want, where you want to name it, the model type, and it should download it to the correct destination. So then we're having to fidget with a console to get it down into the right place. This is still very much in beta and I have tested it very little, but I have made it available to my patrons if they want to help in beta testing it and providing feedback on what are additional features that could be helpful. You can check it out over here on my Patreon link down below. I will make a version of this for free available eventually, but I do want to get some of the kinks worked out and make sure that it's working before I give it up for general distribution. So if you want early access and you want to help with the direction of where this little app is going to go, please do subscribe on Patreon and I look forward to getting your feedback. Now, if you want to follow along with this video, I am running it on a RunPod instance in the cloud. If you don't know what RunPod is, it's a platform that allows you to rent GPUs for just a few dollars an hour. In this case, I'm renting an H100 GPU, which is over 80 gigs of VRAM and allows me to generate a video in about nine minutes. So unless you've got a beefy GPU and you don't want to use a quantized version, you're going to need to come here to make the best use of the model. However, everything that I cover here, you can follow along and do on your local computer. And I will add in a little bit about using quantized models at the end for those of you running on local machines. So I got my run pod pod over here. If you want to learn how to use run pod, I am working on a video on this, which I'll link down below. I'm using my run pod template and I added on definitions for WAN 2.2. So you can come down over here and set to one the elements that you want downloaded. In my case, I have the Fusion X LoRa only, the WAN 2.2 main, which contains all of the common models and nodes that you need to run WAN 2.2, including the WAN Kijai node collection. And I'm currently using the image to video 14 billion FP16. Once you set those overrides and you go ahead and start up your pod, everything will automatically download and get set up for you. you just go grab a cup of coffee, come back and everything will be ready. Now start using Wine 2.2. It's extremely easy. You just need to download a handful of models in the respective places. This section of the video is just for those who want to install everything manually. If you're using my RunPod template and you set the environment variables correctly, or you're using the Comfy UI browser, all of this will have already been done for you. But if you're following along manually, you just want to make sure that you put into your models, diffusion models folder. The folder structure is the same regardless of wherever you're using this. The WAN image to video high noise 14 billion model and the low noise model. The same applies for the text versions of the model. You want to put everything here into the diffusion models folder also the 5 billion over here in models text encoders you want to put your umt xxl model the text encoder again you can have either the fp8 or the fp16 versions here in ve you want to have your ve wan 2.1 model for ve you need to keep something in mind you'll notice here i have both the wan 2.1 and 2.2 models the 2.1 model works with the 14 billion parameter model however if you're using the 5 billion parameter model you need to use the wan ve 2.2 so make sure you've got the right one for the model that you're using and that's all you actually need to get started now, in theory, the WAN 2.1 LoRa's do also work with WAN 2.2. So if you want to use them, you can drop them in over here into LoRa's. You can see here, I got the Fusion X LoRa's as well as the Light X 
CFG step distillation LORAS. However, I have had a few issues in getting them running. Once you've got those installed and you open up Comfy UI, you're usually greeted with this templates window. If you come down to video, you'll find here that they've actually already got the WAN 2.2 14 billion text to video, image to video, and 5 billion video generation templates. If you're not seeing these, it's because your Comfy UI is not up to date. So go ahead and update them and you'll see these templates. Now, these are a great starting point. However, there are a lot of optimizations that you can do to get better performance. If you just use this standard workflow straight up for the 14 billion parameter model, my video generation times were hitting 700 to 900 seconds for a single video. And you'll notice here in my queue that my most recent generation was actually 105 seconds. So there's a lot of optimizations you can do. However, before that, there's a couple of things I need to address that you might run into. On RunPod particularly, when I tried to run my generation, I would get an error saying that NumPy was not available or NumPy was missing. This is because it seems like Comfy UI or some of the nodes are installing a version of NumPy that is version 2 point something. And the nodes that we're using, especially some of the core nodes, actually need to use a NumPy that is below version 2. So to fix that, you need to open up your terminal and reinstall the correct version of NumPy. Over here on RunPod, all you need to do is just click on terminal and type in Python M pip install numpy equals 1.26.4. I found that this version works without giving me any issues anywhere else in Comfy UI. If you're working on a Windows, Mac, or Linux machine, same thing, just open up the terminal in your Comfy UI installation, or if you're in a virtual environment, do it there, and go ahead and type this in. When I climb do it in Comfy, I get a security error, is open up your manager, click install pip packages, and just type in numpy equals equals 1.26.4 and confirm. However, you'll see if I try and do it here, I get this error. So if you get this error, go ahead and do it in your terminal. However, depending on your installation, it may work fine. And that's pretty much all you need. The templates will get you started to get you generating videos over on Comfy UI. However, I strongly suggest using the Kijai One wrapper as that is exactly how I got 105 seconds. Now, I mentioned earlier that you can use the WAN 2.1 LoRa's to improve your video performance. And you'll see here that I tried to do just that. I tried to use the Light X 2V CFG distillation. I tried to use Fusion X. And no matter what settings I put on, I'm still getting a relatively noisy video. My settings are as follows. I've got the steps down to 10. My CFG is 1. I'm starting at step 0, ending at step 3 with a overall steps of 10. And then in the low noise one, we are starting at step 4, ending at infinity, but it's an 8 step set up so if you have any insight on what better parameters they would be because it definitely looks like there is something going on here in the denoising please do let me know however when i use the kijai wrapper where the workflow is over here and by the way all of these workflows will also be linked down below i did get the sizing wrong as i still need to tweak the workflow but you can see here i've got a pretty good result generated at a hundred seconds Here's a couple of more videos that I put together once I tweaked up the workflow so you guys can see what they look like. And that's all you need to do to get started with WAN 2.2. Now, a bunch of stuff earlier in this video about the different improvements in WAN 2.2. I am working on a different deep dive where we're going to cover prompting technique in WAN 2.2. What are some of the improvements that you can do? So if you're interested in that, please do like and subscribe and comment down below what you'd like me to dive deeper into. And if you really want to support the channel, please do consider supporting me on Patreon or using Kaiju Jet. The platform is not perfect, but I do push out updates regularly. And if you have an issue, come by the Discord and drop a comment. I usually fix issues relatively quickly. Thanks so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.